video I'll show you how to perform a jumper on an mp3 board so by watching this video to the very end you're going to understand the procedure on how to jumper a charging port on an mp board so you can actually use the same knowledge to perform a jumper on any keypad button phone or a phone itself so with this um, knowledge you can actually um, introduce it to a mobile phone and it will work so just watch carefully to the very end and you know how it's done so the first thing we want to do is to know the positive and negative terminal of this charging port and I'm going to show you how to dictate the positive and negative terminal of the charging port. This logic board here, yeah, this MP board, you see that um, one of the terminal has pulled, okay? One of the terminal of the board has pulled and is as a result of maybe the charging ports um, forcefully went out from maybe from the most least from the customers when they forcefully push um, the charging port and it will pull out the um, the copper wiring, the tiny copper wiring connected to the PCB board. So I'm going to show you how to know where to jumper it when the other leg is missing. How to know the positive and negative terminal with um, just simple step by using a multimeter to do that. So I'm going to be using the multimeter to do that so we're going to be using the multimeter but we need to check if the continuity mode is set so first of all you need to set the multimeter to the continuity mode that is the diode mode so once we have successfully done that you get the positive and the negative probe that is the probe and you bridge them together to check if the multimeter will beep and show the red light so once you have done that you get the board so the essence of getting the board is to check properly where the negative terminal of the charging port is connected so we are going to be using the multimeter to confirm it now if you have not known how to use the multimeter on the diode mode you can ch check my previous video and also you can join my mentorship class to get a direct contact with me where i can explain deeply how it works so now we are going to be bridging this particular leg of the charging port that is remaining to um the ground of the negative terminal of the battery that is gnd the gnd of the is always called the negative terminal of the battery we call it ground so it's all it's connected to this i've already tested it before but and also that um negative terminal is connected to um this um what do you call it this um memory card um silver plate so it's connected there so anywhere um that um silver cap of this memory card um body um, is bridging with any of these two terminal of these charging ports you will assume it to be the negative terminal because on mp3 the two major terminals are just the positive and negative unlike phones where we have the positive the negative the data positive and the data negative but for mp the two major ones are just the positive and the negative so as you can see on the board on the multimeter is beeping is showing red light and is connected that is to say this terminal right here is connected to the ground that terminal is connected to the ground is because that memory card plate is connected to the negative terminal of the battery and the negative terminal of the battery is same as the negative terminal of the charging port so our mission is accomplished we have known where the negative terminal of the charging port is now the other terminal is the positive terminal that is the one that pulled from the board once i get my result i need to pull out the remaining three terminals that in the middle of the charging port okay those terminals are not necessary when performing a jumper on an mp board and an mp3 board okay if they are not necessary so once we have successfully removed it we are going to use the razor blade also to scrape out the this positive and the negative terminal of the charging port because why i'm scraping it out is for an easy contact of the lead that is the um the soldering lead that i'll be using for this operation that is the essence of me scratching it so that the lead will properly stick to those two terminals okay that's the purpose of me so next i get my jumper wire this is my jumper wire okay now already i've already gotten my liquid lead so my liquid lead already is um is placed so i'm going to show you how to do it um let me zoom a little bit okay now the essence of me using a liquid lead for this operation because it serves me well okay it sticks very well to 
this um, jumper wire. So after we have successfully done the jump, the lead sticking to our jumper wire, is the next thing is to know where the terminals of the charging port is connected to the PCB and the one we are soldering. Remember, is the positive terminal that pulled from the board and from our board right here is um you see where the positive terminal is pointing so that is where we'll be performing our jumper on the charging port okay so the next step is to proceed with the soldering so watch carefully how i did the soldering okay watch very carefully So now once we have successfully done the soldering to the charging port, the next thing is to solder the jumper wire to our PCB board because already we know where our positive negative terminal is. So now we we'll assume that the, neg the other terminal that pulled is the positive terminal. Okay, so now I'm going to show you how to easily get the trace line on where to solder the positive terminal. Now, watching carefully, you will see that the positive terminal that pulled is connected to this line right here, this blue line. So it's connected and it's connected to this capacitor, then to this charging IC. So if you watch that line, see, watch very well, you see it's connected. That is where the line pulled. So we are going to scratch out this line right here and make our jumper there. Okay, so get a razor blade and scratch carefully, scratch it carefully, carefully. Now once you're done with the scratching, um, the next thing is to brush it. Okay, we have gotten a perfect view. Now we're going to add some lead, liquid lead on that terminal. So first of all, add our paste, and after adding our paste, we soda some lead there. So watch carefully to see how it's done. So after we have done that, the next thing is to solder the charging port to the PCB board, that is the logic board. So watch carefully to see my way of fixing charging port, okay? Once, first of all, you align the two legs, the two base leg to the two base leg on the PCB board, okay? Now after you have aligned it, make sure it's well aligned, then you solder it. Make sure it's well aligned, then you solder it. After soldering the first leg, you solder the second one, the second base. Once you are done with that, you make sure they are well aligned. Okay, use your thumb, your your finger, one of your finger, to hold um the the charging port from the other side. Now apply pressure from the other side of your finger. Now once you apply pressure, you use the soldering iron to add the lead. So that is how it's done. So apply pressure. Now apply pressure and use the soldering iron to hold it firmly to hold the lead okay now once you have done that see it will be very very strong once you have done that okay you can add some more lead now to make it more more stronger okay i recommend you using liquid lead for any of your operation okay well if you don't understand much of this and you still want to learn more on electronics different faults you can join my vip class my whatsapp VIP class where I train my students on advanced phone repair. We just post some little techniques on YouTube. Okay, the rest of them are done on WhatsApp. Those main major courses are done on WhatsApp. Okay, because they are not, um, they are very, very strong, expensive knowledge. You can come and acquire them by sending me a message on the number showing on your screen. So now, once you have done that, you will have to connect that negative terminal
so once we are done with connecting the negative terminal the next thing is to connect the positive terminal okay that is the jumper wire that we jump pad okay that is the terminal that pulled from the board so this is how you just connect it you just so that it directly to that line that place will scratch okay that is how it's done So once you've successfully done that, we need to cut out the SS jumper wire. Now after we're done, the moment of truth is now, let's test it to see if it's working. So as you can see right here is working perfectly fine it's working okay so if you enjoyed this video don't forget to like this video comment below if you have any question and don't forget to subscribe to our channel if you're finding it difficult on electronics and other telecommunication gadget repair like phones computer don't forget to hit me up on my whatsapp number showing on your screen and i'll get back to you immediately I'll reply to all your questions okay so next we'll be using our multimeter to check the voltage that is going to the battery terminal okay so now set your multimeter to be at the dc volts level okay if you want to learn more on a multimeter you can hit me up on my whatsapp number showing on your screen and i'll explain very well on how it works so next we'll be checking the voltage so let's locate the battery terminal and check Okay, let's check the voltage that is going to the battery terminal using our multimeter. Okay. As you can see right here, it's detecting 4.1 volts. So that is to say, it's working perfectly fine.